Hey guys, today we'll be looking at RAMDIS and why it is important for your computer even if you have an SSD and we'll also be looking at how to set one up. So first up, why would you want a RAM disk? Well the first thing that comes to mind for me is its speed. Well mine in particular will get 8GB a second read and 11GB a second write, which is pretty damn fast. But that's not the only reason why you should have a RAM disk. Another reason is that they can speed up some programs, not that much, but enough to make it a difference. But however, that is still not my reason. The reason, in fact, is that it can prolong your SSD's life. Yes, that's true. By minimizing the amount of write cycles to your SSD can improve its lifespan. Now, some of you may know that an SSD only has a certain amount of write cycles before it starts losing data. This is why a RAM disk can prolong your device. And so if the RAM disk is configured properly, it can move the temporary files off of your SSD onto the RAM disk, meaning that you don't have so many write cycles, meaning you don't read and write and delete constantly to the SSD, you're now doing that on your RAM. Which RAM doesn't even care about how many times you do that, it will do that forever. It won't lose any of its data or anything like that. However, if you did that to an SSD, you will eventually um, end up with a SSD with less capacity. Even better, since RAM is vital memory, meaning that you have to have power for it to store the memory, in other words, no power equals no data stored. And since you don't need temporary folders, it's good because it will erase or clear the temporary folders that you don't need when you shut down your computer. So Matt, how do you make a RAM disk? Well, it's quite simple. In the link of the description below, there's going to be a link to this RAM disk here. It's made by SoftPerfect. It's the one I use. It seems to be the fastest one out there and it's free. So you're going to download it here and then once you've downloaded it, you're going to install it. Then what you're going to do is you are going to open it up here and then you're going to press the green button here. You're going to select what size you want here. Now I suggest if you're using an 8GB um, computer, you're going to want to put either 1 to 2GB. Now I have a 2GB uh, RAM disk here. Then what you want to going to do is you're going to select the drive letter you want to put it here. Now I've got mine selected to R as you can see there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to change it from RAW to NTFS. Then you're going to press advanced if you want and then you can change the volume label there to whatever name you want. Then you're going to press OK and OK and it will mount itself and that's it basically. It's as simple as that. Now we're going to set up the temporary folders. Now you can either press Windows key and pause or you can right click start menu and then go system. Then it will bring you up this window here. Then you're going to press advanced system settings. Then you're going to go press environment variables. Then you're going to go select either one of these. And then you're going to go edit. Then you're going to change this here to where your RAM disk is. So you're, if you've set it up like me, you're going to be capital R colon um, slash now this here is the folder I've made it go to now it will create this folder here so you don't have to make it y yourself so just like that and then you're going to press OK and you're going to do the same for this temp here and press OK apply if it's there and then OK and then you're good to go now you can also set up the temporary folders for your web browser so I use Firefox but you can also do it on Chrome as well and I'll show you how to do those just in a sec now to set up the temporary files for Firefox what you're going to do is you're going to go back to Firefox then you're going to type in about.config I mean colon config so then you're going to press be careful I promise then you are going to go right click new string enter this here this will also be in the description below press ok then you're going to select um, this if you've got it same configuration as me so you basically set it to the RAM disk then you're going to press ok then it's going to create this here and now you are set. Now to set up for Chrome what you're going to do is you're going to grab the Chrome shortcut and then go right click properties then you see this target here what you're going to do is go right to the end and press space once and then control V this in. Now I'm also going to have this in the description below now if you haven't set it up like me make sure you need to change the letter here to whatever your RAM disk is and then once done that, press apply and then OK and you're set to go. Now if you have any other questions on other browsers or how to do them on other browsers, be sure to make a comment down below 
and I'll hopefully help you with that. Now I thought I'd only do Chrome and Firefox as they are the most popular nowadays and not many other people will really use the other browsers anymore. If you like this video, please subscribe and share this video. And yeah, I'll see you next time.